Hello, and welcome to the Institute of Future Technology. Here at the Institute, it's our responsibility to make sure that the space-time continuum stays continuous. If you want to, you can ride along with me today as I make my rounds. I've converted my electric car to run off of a Mr. Fusion because I got tired of looking for charging stations. I volunteer uh, at the Institute of Future Technology. I'm a part-time worker. We volunteer to keep an eye on locations of temporal significance in the area. <laughs> Marty McFly? <laughs> Trying a drink here at Burger King. It's not just any Burger King. Do you recognize it? Sadly, a lot of the original character was lost recently when it was completely remodeled, but the memories live on. Thanks to Marty and Doc's efforts, it's now restored to its former glory. The place has changed a little bit over the years. The ivy has grown over the walls, and for some reason they chose to take down the Hilldale signs. Just down the street is where Marty would have crashed into the Rolls Royce. Here we are at Shonash Ravine, or Eastwood Ravine, as those of us today know it. Look at the height of those palm trees today, and how short they were back in 1985. This area is still pretty much in the same condition it was back then. There's something you don't see every day. Pay attention to Vern's hand. I wonder if that works with the ladies. Come here. Here. I wonder what the kid's home life is like. Of course, what trip would be complete without a visit to the McFly residence? They've taken really good care of this house. It looks the same as it did 30 years ago. They look really happy. I don't want to disturb them, so let's move on. Alright, it's getting late in the day, but I had to make one more stop. Griffith Park Tunnel is awesome at night. That is, when you're not being chased by Biff in a 6,000-pound death machine. The overhead lights are original. Those lights on the side have since been taken out. Who needs to see where you're going when you don't need roads? 